Hello guys and welcome to another vlog. Today we are reviewing the Hyundai Venue 2021 BS6 Compliant. And if we start from the front, this is a compact SUV, not that big in dimensions, but a nicely designed car as such. And at front over here, it get these DRS around here, projector lamp along with the regular halogen lamp as well. These are the indicators and this is the Hyundai's cascading chrome grille which it looks very nice and this pattern looks very awesome in it too and it also gets some segment and first features like the projector fog lamp and there's a bumper over here colored in different materials like there's the gray grayish then black again then silver over here pardon me the car is a bit little bit dirty right now and if we come to the side, the first thing you will notice that it gets a uh, body cladding all around along with some black inserts over there. And these are 16 inch tire. These are 215, 60, 16 inch and these are diamond cutter eyes. It just look phenomenal and it gets some plastic. So let's give them that. Very nice. And these are the outside rear view mirror along with the indicator placed on them. And these are the door handle which are finished in the body color. And if we come to the back over here, here it gets some LED lights along with a halogen indicator as well as a halogen reverse lamp. And it gets this treatment over here and the lower bumper is also finished in silver. And here's the exhaust of the car. And over here it says venue. This is the second top variant, and the top variant also gets a wiper with a washer fluid at back. And let me open the boot once. So here's the boot. It's a quite a practical of boot, and it gets a light over here. But the loading lip is quite on the higher side so you will feel a bit difficult to load in luggage but yeah it's a quite practical boot it also gets a parcel shelf over here and it also gets a spare wheel at bottom which is a smaller size unit it's a 15 inch tire and we close the boot so this is the fuel tank of the car so let's get into the rear bench and the doors open uh, almost 90 degrees and the door handles are finished in silver color here's the power button to switch and this bottle holder can easily come out accommodate a one liter bottle these are the speakers and handle to hold on to and the seat is in fabric and if the recline angle is uh, not that bad it's quite good and on top of the line it also gets a center armrest but it doesn't gets it it gets a light over here also and the space at the back is adequate the knee room is on the tighter side as well as the leg room but the under thigh support is adequate over here it also gets a 12 volt charging socket along with twin ac vents at back which is a nice touch and as you can see the front seat belts are also height adjustable which is great once again and it here it gets a handle to hold on to here it gets a handle as well as a hook which is nice if they would have given it on both the side it would be better and overall the rear bench can take three people easily because the cabin is quite wide but it gets a huge hump over here for this ac and this is a protruding out too much so it can be a problem for the center passenger as well as it doesn't get a center headrest too so the center passenger would not be that comfortable so let's get out of the third row of the car and get into the driver's seat. And it also gets a sharp in antenna at here and some of the roof rails too, which are again finished in silver. And in the second of variant, it doesn't get keyless entry as well as push button start. It gets a flip key like this the flip key of the car put it in it gets and on the driver door it gets the controls for all the windows this is to lock and lock the vehicle and these are for the outside rear view mirror and these are to child lock the rear windows and the door bins are also quite nice size 
can accommodate one liter bottle quite easily and these are the tweeters and speakers over here and the seats are manually adjustable in all the variant but it also gets height adjust which is nice and this is the headlight leveler some dummy switches so here in the driver's seat so let's turn on the car so here the car gets to life this is the diesel variant and yeah and in the instrument cluster in the top of the line variant it gets a single piece unit like this is divided into three pieces one two and third piece and the top of the line gets a single piece unit not a digital one a regular one and here are some of the information like your average and distance to empty and different trip data as well and on the left it gets a tachometer some with some territorial lights and center it gets a speed speedometer marked at 220 kilometer per hour and if we talk about the steering wheel it gets a leather wrapped steering wheel along with some buttons over here for the audio system and some buttons here for the cruise control system and it gets a silver trim at down over here and the steering feels uh, same as of the Hyundai Tucson which is the premium SUV offered by Hyundai and in the top of the line of venue it gets a D-cut steering wheel same as the new Creta one and if we talk about the audio system it also comes with a blue link connected car feature of 32 features so you can you control your car using your mobile phone like the air conditioning and inf different informations and it also gets Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and also gets a driver rear view monitor let me show it to you that's gone yeah we have to remove the vehicle from parking brake the driver rear view monitor which is a very nice touch so if we put on the handbrake then the driver rear view monitors get shut off automatically and it gets a six speaker system two tweeters and four regular speakers and over here these are the controls for the audio system only and these are the air conditioning control it gets a climate control system for air conditioning over here it gets a twin usb socket along with a 12 volt charging socket and this is the manual version and it gets many gearbox option like this uh, six speed manual then it gets a cvt option as well along with the seven speed dct and imt and let me tell you what is an IMT gearbox. IMT gearbox is a manual gearbox. It looks same as it this one, but has only two buttons, which are accelerator and brake. It doesn't get a clutch. So it will give you an automatic feel along with some manual fun. So and it is quite cheap to maintain in comparison to a CVT or an automatic. And it doesn't cost much as well. It, there's only a difference of 15 to 20,000 in comparison to manual and IMT gearbox which is an intelligent manual transmission so a manual transmission uh, IMT gearbox is not that costly to maintain as well and over here it also gets a coin slot along with twin cup holders and the manual handbrake and some storage space over here so if we get further it also gets some storage over here along with the glove box which is a cooling one which is a nice touch and overall the fit and finish of the car is quite good it gets a silver treatment over here which looks quite nice and these are for the front and rear defoggers and overall the feel of the car is quite good and you sit not sit that up high on, on from the ground but the height of the car and you can also adjust the seat height so you can get a suv feel from it also and over on top over here get some mic and this is the sun visor on with the ticket holder and over here get some mirror with none of the lights and these are for the ambient lighting the interior lighting not the ambient lighting and it also gets a sunroof over here which is of decent size so this is the how much it opens and it brings quite a lot of airy feeling inside the cabin and feels quite nice And the front seats are also quite comfortable. They are not that soft. They are a bit on the harder side, but that's okay. And the under thigh support is quite great. And the bolsterings are quite far, not that supportive as such, but overall the seats are comfortable. Not that a big issue. And the gears is again finished in leather. And in the top of the line variant, you get many more features like blue link connected car and cruise control and different things and you can get a more better sound system as well 
सो गाइज दिस वॉज माई रिव्यू ऑफ द हिंडई वेन्यू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन बी एस सिक्स कंप्लाइन सो थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग लेट्स यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो रियली सुन टिल देन बाय बाय एंड हैव ए नाइस डे A big shout out to Shivnath Hyundai for lending me the car. And if you are planning to buy a new car this festive season, so without any second thought, just contact the details below in the description, and the excellent sales team will help you to choose a perfect car for your liking.